Okay, so, second video on uh, for our Bowman Hobby case. We've opened six, and yeah. we got six more to go. You Darvish has one hitter left for a no hitter. I don't think they'll take this away from him. I think most times that is called a hit, but by the official book, he's got a defense. Let's get some good cards. Boy, when you Darvish is on, he has got some nasty stuff for a pitcher. He has some control problems once in a while, but... Oh, wow. A righty-lefty matchup for a no-hitter against David Ortiz. That is legendary. I love it. This is awesome. He probably should just walk him. Oh, they gave him a strike on that. Wow, versus Ortiz. What a matchup. If you is smart, he just walks him. This is such a tough matchup for him. Got the shift on too. I'm going to go ahead and do the same as Jay and just uh, stack them up and then go through it. No, I think the same pitch. Was the first pitch called a strike? Yeah. Guy throwing filthy stuff versus Ortiz, who's absolutely 100% clutch. Ooh, God, that ball moved. That yeah. It's 8 nothing. you. Don't throw him a strike. Honestly, nobody could blame him if he didn't throw him a strike. Think he's going to K him? His ball is moving like crazy. That pitch moved inside about a half a foot. Oh, that was too good of a pitch to hit. Oh, again? Yeah. Again, he gets wrecked with two outs. Walk him, you God. It's David Ortiz, and it's a righty-lefty matchup. That was just too good of a pitch. That was right in Ortiz's wheelhouse. I like him, but I think he made a mistake there. That was too good of a pitch. Throw him junk, walk him, and go to the next guy. God. Was that the second or third time he's done that? Uh, it happened against Houston last year, early on in the season. Thought that was a wave pack for a second. Well, he got the win in about 130 pitches. God, Mike Gold had his seventh home run today. Yeah. He's uh, hit a home run or an out. Okay. <laughs> yes. I guess we don't have to worry about that play being changed. <laughs> it won't matter now. He looks a little disappointed to me. You think? Ortiz. You don't pitch to David Ortiz there. I give him credit for not walking him completely, obviously. I think I would have. All right. Good luck, everybody. This is box number seven. We do have a blue wave pack in this. It's right there. Move this real quick. No, that was just positioned perfectly to get through there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dave. Let's do it. I called the redemption in box number eight, Dave. Yep, April 2nd. We got a hometown of Luke Jackson. Let me move he that. should have fielded that one. That one's right up the middle. Move the cam here for where I want it. We got a uh, black refractor uh, coming later, too. So we got some interesting stuff in this pack. Sure. I got blocked by a Tops 100 earlier. I think that's a black refractor. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> got to go through a little slower in the paper and the hobby because... In case you get a Russell Wilson on the jumbo, I'm pretty sure it's right in the insert spot. Got a, a silver ice. Jonathan Scope, the Orioles. Boy, this one's every which direction. Chris Bryant paper. 
Got a uh, gold paper for Cleveland, numbered out of 50. Nick Swisher. Yeah, it's a little different to doing that against Boston than Houston. Got a uh, Kyle Crick mini. Hold on one second. My cam's a little crooked. Showing the card crooked. Okay, that should be right. <laughs> Kyle Crick. Hometown of um, Michael Kadire. Okay, black refractor coming up. Don't think it's an auto, unfortunately, but maybe it'll be a good name. That is a nice one there. Colorado Rockies. That's Tapia. I think this guy's real solid. Ramil Tapia, number 25 of 99. Good name. Yeah, just the black, not auto. It's a good name, though. Another one of those mid-range uh, guys in this product that look pretty good. <sighs> we turned down just a little bit on the, since the no-no's over. Hey, Freddie, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> He's calling out. Oh, just in time to see a big autograph. We got Alberto Omora, tops 100. Tops 100, Corey Seager, number 57. We could do it just a couple more pegs down. These guys are arguing and giving me... put it on mute because well, it's on volume 8. Okay. Mitch Williams gives me a headache when he's screaming. Mitch Williams gives everyone a headache. <laughs> just Harold Reynolds and him are screaming so much that I'm getting a headache. Mm -hmm. Chrome Mini of uh, Devin Williams from Milwaukee. Abreu Chrome. Blue paper for the Brewers, Tucker Newhouse. Some sleeve stuff to start with. There's a oh yeah, home hometown of uh, Mike Trout without the foil, like the others. There's an eBay one of one. Except I know tops. There's probably more than one like that. <laughs> Max Freed Chrome Mini. Tanaka Paper, hometown of Justin Verlander, got a blue mini coming up, the blue wave mini, DJ Davis for Toronto, going to get the rainbow mini of him. Don't forget to call Dennis's name. Those don't count. That don't count? It has to go in a top loader before I'm going to call your name, Dennis. One out of 15 was top loaded. Yeah. I'll top load any card out of 15. Even Fernando Rodney.
hopefully we get something special. We're about ready to hit the uh, blue wave stack here. Archie Bradley, Chrome Mini. So good luck on the blue wave. Hopefully we'll hit another uh, auto. You had a blue wave auto earlier, didn't you? Brentford. Yeah, Brentford. I want, I want the to say I've got a redemption card. I do no. not have a redemption in this blue wave auto pack. First card is Anthony Santander. Blue wave. Next blue wave is Ryan Healy for Oakland. Next blue wave is Ryder Jones for the San Francisco Giants. Striking out so far. Next one is Nomar Mazzara for the Rangers. Yuck. All base in this one. Akil Morris is the final one. Five base blues. Hopefully we get another one. If you guys haven't noticed, it's definitely easier to get wave packs in Hobby than it is Jumbo. That's the one advantage of Hobby. Got a uh, hometown of Russell Herrera with actually the foil on it. We got uh, Mark Appel. Bowman is back. Got the autograph yet? Nope. I've not got the autograph yet. We do have a green at the very bottom. So you guys should be rooting for no autograph till we get to that green. Just no saw auto, the no auto, no auto, no auto, no I auto. just saw that green now. I'll cut the suspense for you. The green is the auto. Sweet. So we got a fun auto in the box seven. Make your predictions now. Taewon Walker for the Mariners. I know who I'm rooting for. Blue paper. Dave, you said Pierce Johnson yesterday. <laughs> Franco. Franco, green. Boom. Do it. Well, since we've pulled Mark Appel's like crazy, I'll go with that prediction. How about uh, Jose Abreu? Abreu, Abreu would be nice. I think there's somebody in the chat room that would be okay with Abreu. Okay, here it is. Green Auto. Oops. That is St. Louis Cardinals. Mike Mayers. So I guess we are hitting a Cardinal once in a while. Mike Mayers for the Cardinals. That was a Rod Fanatic. Nice card for the St. Louis Cardinals. Getting a lot of parallel autographs. <laughs> exactly. All right. That it? That is it. That's box seven. Hey, uh, Dave, I uh, uh, I called, um, I said I was going to hit your autograph in box eight. You want to pick one on the top, five on the bottom? Dave, you pick the next box and predict your, uh, I predicted the Bryant Auto in box number eight. Let's go with eight. They're one through five. Oh, the nun that was going to be number eight, right on top? Okay, I'll do that. This was going to be number eight. We're not switching up then. I'll let you know when I turn it over and see the redemption card. There's a few teams that would be rooting for a redemption card with uh, some of the tough pulls that you don't see very often that are redemption. Hey, you good. 
You want to bring that over to her? Give her the base star. It'll be a long night after this hobby case. So we'll do a recap first, and then we will uh, go to division breaks. I think the first division break is filled. I have one pending. I got to check on that, and then uh, I'm pretty sure there will be an opening in a second one. So if somebody's interested and they want to stick around a while, Eric says Bob Jackson's going to be at the Sometime Show in Chicago. And doing... Oh, really? Yeah. Bo is. For Armando Rivera. You know what I always do, Zach, on something like that when I'm not sure? I put the name in and go highest first and I see what the potential is. That's what I did on that Cardinal Super that we got. and I saw that he had tons of potential, so I priced it a little higher and it sold right away. I bet anything there's you can just tell based on his parallels. You can kind of tell on uh, somebody if they have a, a fan following or not based on other ones, even if it's not the same. I doubt you see a printing plate on there of them. I have no idea of anything about them. His red auto went for 190. That's that's a slightly over common. I mean, a common red auto is about a purple 125. That's a little better. All right, let's uh, let's go through this box eight. Hometown of uh, Hanley Ramirez. Why don't you try for a hundred if a purple got at one twenty five? No. It's a printing plate auto. Printing plate autos don't go as good as the reds usually, even though they say one of one. It's really a one of four. Yeah, plus the people just like the reds one better. Yeah. Is it on a sticker or is it signed on the plate, Jack? Tay one Walker, tops 100. Hometown of Tim Hudson. Right, Max is going to be there too, he said. Oh, Max. Tanaka wins again. 5 0. Oh. Tanaka's 5 0. Oh. Okay, here's our auto. Back to a base auto for box eight, Dave. Don't think the Bryant's going to happen unless it's a fluke. On this box, at least. And the New York Mets hit box number eight. Casey Mesner. We got uh, four more to go for. AC Messner. Hopefully we hit one more wave pack too where we got a shot at Rado. If I hit a wave pack where there's a redemption on it, then you're gonna see me get excited. Be careful because uh, 
pretty sure. Franco Bowman is back. He had an orange wave pack. I don't. Are the orange wave packs retail? You think? I haven't seen one. We've opened so much of this stuff and haven't seen them, but I know they're out there. Does anyone <laughs> have any information about the orange waves? Have you seen them on eBay? Yeah, they're really nice looking cards. I think if I actually saw a Russell Wilson paper card, I'd faint. Many cards as I've looked at and not hit one. Hometown, Edwin Incarcion. Incarnacion. One of my favorite names. Incarnacion. <laughs> I got it one out of two that time. We got a, a Tops 100 here. Tyler Glass, now they have him as number 16 prospect. Someone blew my win for Herring. For Pirates. Pirates insert. Just hand it over here. The paper. Stack them up. Got a Chrome Mini of Zach Bornstein. Chrome Mini of Alex Meyer. Card or something in this box off. Tapia hometown. Refractor, number to five hundred of Santiago Nessi. Blue Jays. Hometown Michael Feliz. Last stack for box eight. We got a Chris Bryant chrome right on top here. Silver Ice, Austin Jackson. Got a die cut insert coming up. Abreu paper. It's a nice one for Houston Astros. Number 52 of 99, die cut of George Springer. For Houston. Reds Chrome Mini, Nick Traviso. few cards left here. I don't think there's any special cards left. There might be a blue paper here at the end. There is a hometown of Lewis Thorpe for the Twins. J.P. Crawford, Chrome Mini for the Phillies. That's yours there. J.P. Crawford. Really? Are you stooping that low? You said your name, huh? Blue paper, St. Louis Cardinals, Joe Kelly. And that's box eight. Oops. Thank you.
Come on, box topper. Where you at? We're both. Uh, They're tough. We're both not following through. Okay. All right. Let's see something bright here. Red or super or something. Oh, that's a thick. Is that a blue new thing? Ah, bluff. Pack seemed a little thick. Of course, last box I hit a blue way pack and didn't even realize it. Let's open. Those of you that do football, I might uh, I might get another uh, treasures case for next week. I haven't done one for about three or four weeks, and they're pretty popular. I'd like to do something besides Bowman next week. We've done so many Bowmans in a row. I'll know uh, probably this weekend if I'm going to do that. All right, we've got a few colorful cards in there. Looks like just blue, though. But I didn't notice that green last time either, so. All right, let's go through box number nine. Nice card for the Pirates. Green paper, Andrew McCutcheon, number 8 of 150. Tyler, Taylor Guerreri, Tampa, Chrome Mini. I think every single card has turned different in these. <laughs> Not surprised me. <laughs> Hometown, John Lester for the Red Sox. We got a blue refractor and a blue mini coming up. The blue mini is for the Philadelphia Phillies, numbered 151 of 250, JP Crawford. Is Tom Glavin on this ticket still? I don't know. He was a big Brace fan, so he might be. Get yourself a J.P. Crawford Blue Mini. Awesome. Chrome Mini of Danny Holson. Chris Bryant Chrome. Got a Blue Refractor coming up. Hoping it's an auto.
hometown of Katow for the Yankees. Okay, next card is the blue. It's not an auto, unfortunately. It is for the Texas Rangers, number 136 of 250, Victor Payano Pe for the Rangers. Hometown there of Soriano for the Yankees. Bowman is back. For the Red Sox insert of uh, Ellsbury. I think we're at about as many Bowman packs as it takes to get a Russell Wilson. We've, I've hit yeah I think we've hit those thousands of mini packs you need to get one tops 100 of uh, Lance McCullers Maybe we haven't done that many yet. Eight or nine, uh, hobby days total. Yeah. We did seven. They're in the thousands, though. I don't know if we've hit quite the... Well, we might be close. Not the 9,000, but... No, I meant both of them combined, though. You figured. Okay. Hunter Harvey for the Orioles. Chrome Mini. <laughs> I just pretend to be a Cubs fan on here to irritate Zach and Jason, to be honest. Cardinals fans are a little sensitive. Especially for winning how many championships? I just don't understand why we get so much trash talk <laughs> for teams that aren't doing anything. <laughs> We get harassed by Cub fans and Cincinnati Reds fans and Pittsburgh Pirate fans who haven't done anything in the last 20 years. Or just random people like to irritate you. Yeah, I mean, they know they <laughs> Blue can get paper, under, Garrett Cole. They know they can get under my skin pretty easily. <laughs> well, Jason does it the most. He's a Boston fan. Boston's and Cardinals got a little bit of a rivalry going on. Yeah, it's been pretty one-sided so far. Okay, we should have an auto here in this little group. Tanaka paper. You better, you better have my bag. Francisco or Lindor, tops 100. <laughs> Let me know when you're going to go down to a game this year. I want to go to one. Got a, uh, a road trip. Hometown of uh, Stanton for the Marlins. Nope, not yet. Better be in this last group. Brandon Drury for the Arizona Card or the Arizona Diamondbacks. And there it is. Last pack auto. Mookie Betts, bait for base, is blocking the auto of Min. Didn't we get him either earlier? Johander Mendez? Not in this break. But... No? Okay. Texas Rangers, Johander Mendez. Menendez. For the Rangers. 
All right, we got three boxes to hit a big name. It's been two nights in a row. We've hit the uh, middle tier to lower tier guys. Yeah. Well, we hit a pill on the the orange. That was definitely a big name, but we're due for another one. I agree. When you hit the Abreu. Yeah, but I'm talking. We went a whole case. Yeah, the last one. Let me look at this case real quick so far. We got the green of the Cardinals. We had some nice parallel cards so far. Molina. Billy Hamilton. The bin for Blue Wave was kind of nice. Preston Tucker Refractor. Luke Jackson Blue. Yeah. Could be a little better, I agree. We got three more. I think it's three Rangers. Have we got three Ranger autos? Oh, yeah. Luke Jackson Blue. Luke Jackson Blue. Mendez. We got that Cordero for San Diego, Molina for the Yankees. We got the Billy Hamilton. Just two. Just two. Luke. Yeah. <laughs> Mookie Betts uh, showed up early for us, but we haven't seen him for a while. There's absolutely no doubt who we've hit the most of this year. We've... Uh, We've done the best on Mark Appel between our personal and the breaks of anybody. Oh, yeah. We've hit a Mark Appel, we've hit probably two or three base, a, two or three refractors. We've hit an orange in the break last night. We hit a, a box topper auto of him. And we hit a black auto of him. Was that it? Yeah, I think so. So we've done okay on him as far as the big names. Franco, we haven't hit that much. Brian's impossible. We just hit the blue waves. Which was very lucky, but no base Bryants. We're creeping up in the yeah, between, near, near the 20 cases. Between us and Zach, we're around 20 cases, maybe slightly more. And Eric, of the, the cases that have been opened uh, between us three are in the 20s. Eric's opened three so far. Eric hit a, oh, and uh, Zach hit a purple appel too. So we've been seeing a lot of nice appels. Oh, you got one more case coming, Zach. We opened seven cases. Eric opened three. And we broke one, two... Three, four, five, six. This is our seventh case we've opened. So it's seven, fourteen. Eric's three, seven, and you five. We have about twenty-two cases we've seen. No Bryant yet. No Bryant base. Tough card. Okay. Let's see what this box has to offer. We have a red ice in there. How about a purple auto? Bright bright purple? Bright purple. We got a red. Really? Bright red. Really? We got a bright red. Wow. All right. Well, good luck, everybody. There's a bright red card right there. And that's out of five. I'll take the cards off it and then we'll get to that one. I hope we don't hit an auto before that. That would be kind of anticlimactic. Bright red. I don't care if it's an auto or not. I want it to be a good name. Somebody can get some value. The good names in red, even if they're not autoed or $100 cards, if they're a strong name. We got a hometown of uh, Derek Jeter for the Yankees. That one completely has no foil. That definitely, if I had this Jeter, I would probably run that on eBay because it's definitely different. Even though it's just a foil era, somebody would want it for their collection. Got a Bowman is back, Paul Motter. 
You want to go just to the red? Zach wants me. Zach doesn't even have a team, and he's telling me what to do. Back up, Zach. <laughs> All right, we're cleared. Uh, we're cleared to, for the chrome. All right, we'll do the red next. We will do the red next. Come on, auto. He's trying to bring his cat Carmen into the room that I told him about. Zach says he's always lucky. I said it was the taking care of the cat karma. Let me slide off these papers here. And then I'm going to slide the red. I'm not going to even look if it's an auto or not. I'm just going to slide it. Good luck, everybody. This is bright red. And it is not an auto. Cleveland Indians, Joe Wendell. Cleveland Indians, Joe Wendell. That's a tough card. Man, that could have been fun. Well, the Indian spot definitely got their money back because every red goes for, uh, I think it was Ben. Yeah, Ben had the Indians. He had a couple nice cards in the last few breaks. Ben did. He had some nice cards in his Marlin spots. Joe Wendell, number two of five. Joe for getting lit up. You don't see that very much. It's San Diego of all teams. We still have a, a uh, red ice in this uh, pack or uh, box. That's disappointing, though. I really want that to be an auto. That's an auto, and somebody in the room is extremely happy. That's an auto of Franco. We'd have to be calming down Jason right I now. Rain outside. <laughs> Dave would be making fun of Jason because he'd have the shakes. I would have went outside yeah. around the block. <laughs> uh, Mason Williams. Tops 100. I think I actually need that card for uh, my set. I'm sure I have to check. Yeah, I needed a Tanaka Tops 100 and a Mason Williams for a team set. I think there was one earlier in the breaks yesterday, too. I'm going to have to see who hit it and ask them if they want to trade on it. You don't see him do that very much. Cole Hamels, hometown. That's a rarity. I get San Diego, too. They finally pull him. Uh, for I need a few tops 100s, and I was going to look tonight before he sent it out, and I was going to see if a few would it, but I know I needed, um, for the Yankees, I needed Tanaka and Mason Williams for a team set for somebody. I didn't get one Tanaka tops 100 in seven hobby cases. That's crazy. Or one Mason Williams. Look at that. Tops 100 Tanaka. <laughs> oh, somebody's just fooling with me now. I think the Yankees tonight is uh, Chris of Seabergs. He'll trade those to me. I know he will. I'll, uh, Chris Bryant Chrome. Hometown of Prince Fielder. And then I crazy i just say i haven't got one in seven hobby cases in the next Why hobby you say you haven't got a single <laughs> chris bryant redemption base auto <laughs> i haven't had a red ice of chris bryant in seven hobby cases if you pull this one out of your hat we're going to buy lotto tickets we got a edwin escobar chrome mini There's the auto. The autograph is a base. And it is Christian Betancourt for the Detroit Tigers. That is Gary, I believe. Bought the Tigers from me earlier today, if my memory is serving me right. 
We hit a red of Betancourt. Sold it already. He's uh, not a big dollar one, but he's not common. He's a little above common. Betted 333 last year for the Tigers. Minor league system. That'd have been crazy if the auto would have been a red Betancourt. Two of the five. We got a red ice. Hopefully it's a decent name here to get some value out of that. Chris Taylor, hometown. Jonathan LaCroix, silver ice for the Brewers. Christian is a bray. Oh, uh. This is a Javier Betancourt. Sorry, Dennis, if I just said Betancourt. Not the Christian one. Javier Betancourt. I think I just said Betancourt. We did get a red one of that, Dennis. Uh, sold it in the uh, Raz room. Got a... Uh, it's orange, yeah, orange paper of Joey Votto for the Reds. Uh, Michael Yona, Chrome Mini for the A's. Uh, hometown actually has the foil on it of Julio Reyes of the uh, Dodgers. Nice to get an autograph of him. Not had that. Okay. Chrome Mini of Glass now for the Pirates. paper and the red ice is can't even tell it's the Arizona Diamondbacks Chase Anderson Chase Anderson for Arizona Diamondbacks 2009 draftee number 9 of 25 for Arizona That is uh, Sigari. Don't know if he goes for anything or not. And we'll finish out this box. Got two left after this. Well, this one had some promise. Kind of disappointed me with the red ice and the red uh, refractor. Jason Hirsch. They do have autos of the red ice, right? Uh, yeah, they do. They're so tough to get, I know, but... We it's got purple ice autos, red ice autos. Tyler Wade hometown. I have a lot of extras on them too, Dave, if you need anybody. Between both of us, we'd probably have most of the people you'd want if you're looking to fill it out. Uh, Yadier Molina, blue paper, number 90 of 500. And that is it. Box 10 will be next. Or box 11, excuse me. Last box mojo. I'm gonna call my shot on the box topper. Yeah, it's not here. A lot of those top 100s are fairly tough. Uh, there was some I got a few of, but 
There was at least five guys that I didn't get. I think I'd already checked with Zach on a few of them. I think Dylan Bundy of the Orioles, I didn't get any of. I needed that one. and There was like five names that I didn't get any of that I need for team sets. That's through seven hobby and also three jumbos worth of it. Yeah, you had two. Um, you had Baez and um, Baez and who was the other one? Was it Mondesi? Baez and Mondesi, I think. Hey, Dave, maybe I'll send you a list. If you got a few of them, it'd be worth you sending to me. Oh, you had the die cut, Mondesi? <laughs> Tanaka, 29-0 over the last two years. That's awesome. I think he's going to be surprised the first time he takes an L. I'm pretty sure he can't go undefeated in the major leagues. No wonder he's superstitious and won't sign autographs. He never loses. Well, he's going to have to lose a game. <laughs> yes. We're going to need you to lose a game, Tanaka. Uh... <laughs> well, that's a good sign, Zach, if people are actually making you offers early, even if they're low ball. I've had some where it's crickets for about a week. Forty bucks, so why even bother with that? You should know that he's gonna want more than forty dollars for an autograph plate. Yeah. Some don't go very high. I would want more than forty bucks too, but some of those printing plates struggle autos. I would laugh. <laughs> Not even worth responding to, that's for sure. <laughs> he is a gunsmith. All right. We have a green refractor in there. I like turning it over and seeing red. Unfortunately, it would be hard to get a second one. Got an orange mini, I think. What are those, to 50? I think they're to 50. Okay, let's go through this uh, box. Box number 11. David Holmberg, Silver Ice. Oh, it's already 11. Boy, the hobbies take a lot longer to open the jumbos, don't they? A lot longer than the Jumbos. Scudero blue paper. That surprised the heck out of me. It's already 11. Good thing we didn't go pack by pack. <laughs> takes a little, goes a little quicker this way. 12 boxes still takes a while. Let's hit a good card in this box. Jake Johansson, Chrome Mini. For the Nationals. Hometown looks like Longoria. Evan Longoria for the Rays. Got the green coming up. Take a green auto. Got a hometown here of uh, Brandon Moss. Okay. Green? Not an auto. Arizona Diamondbacks. Getting some Diamondbacks. Mac McPherson. Matt McPherson. Number 71 of 75. Keep going. You haven't said your name at all, Jason. Freddie hasn't had his name called at all. What's he got? 
Oakland and uh, Minnesota. Just looking for a Lewis Thorpe or Robertson. We got a Reds Mini, a Breen. Probably a few others we're having a name called yet. Detroit Tigers, blue paper of Devon Travis, number 105 of 500. Silver paper of Scudero, number 7 of 75 for the Giants. Addison Russell, top 100, number 33 for the Oakland A's. There, that's for Eddie's. He is on the board with the tops 100. Okay. I think we had an orange mini in here somewhere coming up. Bowman is back of D Denard, um, Denard for the Mets. Darno. Darno. I knew that. I was searching for it. Got the orange mini right here. It's another diamond back. This is a better diamond back, though. Archie. Number 37 of 50 of Archie Bradley. The card's got to be worth some. Archie usually sells pretty good. Would think it'd be at least ten bucks, wouldn't it? Bradley Orange to fifty or not? Oh, I'm not sure. Those uh, orange minis weren't going as good as I thought they were. Yeah, he's got a lot of fans though. If you hold out, I think you can get a ten spot on that one. Keep going. Got a Franco paper base there for you, Jay. Awesome. Haven't hit many Phillies lately. The Phillies all week have been a little slow. Yeah, what I was thinking they would do. Well, we do have a redemption. Really? We have a redemption, Dave. About our 15th one. <laughs> It's right there. See, I see it? it. I know. Fingers crossed. Good luck, everybody, in the redemption. It could be a lot of good players, actually. There's other good redemptions besides Bryant. We have a redemption already of... Yeah, I think this one's going to be a tough one. I do. I really do. I'm just going to let it marinate right there, okay? It's just going to sit right here, nice and calm. Go wake uh, Haley up no. <laughs> and let her show it. <laughs> yeah, there's other ones. Like Chris says, it could be um, Urias Redemption. That's a big dollar card. Mark Appel Hometown for Houston. I'm moving around. Heck, the... Uh, I got sleeving and sorting to do. The non-Bryant Redemption we hit for uh, Gary uh, B... Uh, the other day, looks like it's a really good card. The parallel to 20. Hamilton? Yeah. I mean, that's a better card than we gave it credit for when we hit it. David Dahl. We just have a general frustration with not hitting a, uh, a base Bryant yet. Got a uh, hometown of Armando Rivera. That's Zach's boy right there. Zach, I'll give you forty-one dollars. I'm at forty-two. Forty-three dollars. We got a hometown. David Wright. 
We're getting close to redemption time in box number 11. Puig is Homer. Puig Homer? I didn't know he was bad in 305 on the air. He's having a pretty good year. Got a Chrome Mini. Nice one there before we hit our redemption of Jose Abreu. For uh, Gary and the White Sox. You interested in the redemption? I am. Just a tad bit. I don't think Franco has any redemptions. Okay. Oh, I forgot about Darnell. I think Darnell might be an auto too. Upside down. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. Say prospect, please. Say red prospect. Congratulations. I'm getting focused there. You are due to receive. Oh. Finally. Bowman Chrome Prospects. Red. Red. R autograph of Chris Bryant. Finally. Dave, I always hit you better cards than uh, Jason. What? <laughs> Finally got one. <laughs> We're off the schneid. Now we can begin opening Bowman for real. Sorry to everybody who had the other cards. It is nice to get off the uh, Bryant schneid, though. Those base are tough. If you want to sell it, there's somebody in this room, Dave, that would be interested buyer. He's been searching them like crazy. I wouldn't charge him any less than a grand for it, though. <laughs> if it takes 20 cases to hit one. I ran out of topplers. Can you get me a clean packet? Sure. That daughter of yours, Ryan, I tell you I what, know. That daughter. This was a Haley case. <laughs> Every time we go through the cases and have the daughter pick them out, it does well. Box number 12. Well, let's get another good autograph to finish and we have a solid hobby case. Are you dumb, man? We get upset. Just so you guys know, she probably does take bribes. <laughs> She's into despicable me. Yes. Uh, Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> PBS Kids. Anything PBS Kids. That's a $300 card, Dave. No problem. Yeah, they've gone up a lot. They started, what, at 200 and something and gone up? Yeah, I did. I called that a while ago. I missed the red part. If I hit a red, Dave would be. You, Dave wouldn't even have a comment. He would have tipped over. He'd be running to Iowa. Reds are thousands. Has have they, anybody hit Super Bryant yet? Uh, I don't know. I just saw a social media. Social media. Uh, <laughs> Bryant just appeared on eBay. Yeah. <clears throat> Here's some top orders. <laughs> Zach wants to trade one cup for another. I just got that. <laughs> three ninety eight. Holy cow! One sold for three ninety eight yesterday. Two? It's gone. It's gone up dramatically. Ah, uh, you want us to uh, send it in to be graded just like this? They'd then, probably do it. <laughs> then you got to break it out of the slab to scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hit a box topper in the last bar? No, no box topper. Well, at least we followed through with Half that. of it. Half. <laughs> Dave's Cub Spot finally paid off after... can't believe it's already 11.15. I'm pretty sure tonight's going to be at 2 at 7 in the morning. God, I'm, I might as well not even go to bed. <laughs> Did Xander get hurt? I think so. They're cleated. Rox is helping sorting, though. 
at five in the morning, you're gonna appreciate all that base being sorted. I already appreciate it. It doesn't need to be five a.m. <laughs> all right. Well, let's uh, let's go back. So you know we're due for another blue wave pack too. So we're off the Bryant Schneid. It's time to hit some other tough cards. Really great case for Bryant with the gold and the auto. All right, let's tip these over. If that red would have been an auto, this would have been an incredible case. Anytime you hit a red auto, it's a great case. It's weird because when I tipped it over, uh, I definitely didn't. We got a gold in this box. The only thing about this is, have you noticed the auto has been in like the last pack almost every time since I've opened it? Must be in the same spot. And we're yeah. Pulling it out the exact same way. Yeah. We do have a gold uh, right here. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> I don't think. Um, I don't think it's the auto because I've had the auto in the same spot every time, but it could be. But there is a gold uh, refractor in here, so. Good luck to everybody on that. Those go uh, very good. Very well. This guy's name. What name is that? Wilmer. Just say Becerra. Becerra? That's a crazy first name. Becerra Hometown. Man, that's neat having a gold. It's so bright in there, reflecting. I think the most uh, popular parallel refractor for set building is the gold. Got a hometown of uh, Alan Craig. Well, it could be the autograph. Not everyone has been in the last one, but out of my boxes, they've been at the, the very back. I don't know if it's the way I'm opening the packs or what. Still could be a really good card, even if it's not autograph, and it could be the auto. I haven't looked. Which way do we go here? Not a dream crusher for Dave tonight. All right, gold. I have no idea if it's the autograph or not. And it's not. Oh, man, I saw that Red Sox symbol before. I, uh, Window Rio for the Boston Red Sox. Might be a decent card still, but I sold that Red Sox symbol first. I was thinking Mookie. We actually have a Mookie Betts gold uh, non-auto on eBay. Window Rio, number 31 of 50. For the Red Sox. And that was Seabirks. I don't think they'll take that long to get Bryant signed. They're not going to take forever. They pushed Meadows to get those signed. Someone said they saw him tweet a photo of signing his cards. Oh, know. yeah. I did I did hear that. I did hear that in the room. That... I can always take the redemption card over to Des Moines and possibly get it signed. <laughs> Hey, uh, Robert, how you doing? Uh, Robert, I kind of saved that last spot for you pending your email, to tell you the truth. Henry Owens. I tried to offer to some people that got crushed last night first, which was a lot. We've had a much better case so far tonight. But I did send you, did you get my email with the credits in that, Robert? I sent you an email, Robert, that had your credit on it. Do you think if I give this card to Chris Bryant, he'll give me an actual signed Bowman Chrome? Like you could trade it in with him? I'll just hand him this. I'll say, Chris, I'll take my autograph, please. We hit that for uh, Dave a little bit ago. We've had a couple other good cards in this case, too. Uh, we had a Chris Bryant um, parallel also. A non-auto. Michael Kadire yellow. Yeah, Robert, I, I uh, that sixth spot I was kind of saving for you, pending your email. If not, I, I would I had it filled a first alternate anyways. But if you want it, um, 
whatever uh i think it was i'll get it to you in a little bit we're on our 12th box kyle zimmer tops 100 yes it's jumbos we do have a hobby case in stock but we were we're do i've been advertising that doing the jumbos We got a Kevin Gossman hometown. All right. Eddie Rosario mini. And there's our auto. So the auto was not in that spot. Gold could have been the auto. Auto for box number 12 is Chris Kohler for the Oakland Athletics. And that there is a Freddy hit. Freddy gets himself a Chris Kohler. Trying to outdo Dave. Maybe we'll have a parallel here to the end. Sorry to those that did not hit an autograph in these 12. We did get 13 autographs. Unless we got one more hiding in this search of this box 12. We got a mini of Daniel Norris. <laughs> we hit every Cali team but the Dodgers. The, the Dodgers are. I mean, I think Urias is the only guy. That no, Twink, Twink one. Or Twink one. Yeah, Twink one. Dave's favorite. Drink every time you hear the name Twink one. Justin Upton blue paper. There's a lot of autographs in this set. They made it a fairly big set. I do appreciate everybody getting in, whether you hit a big card or not. Get a color Moran, tops 100. And even if you're not in the group break, if you want to watch some more open, love to have you stick around. We'll jump right into it. Uh, Manuel Margot uh, of the uh, hometown. Scavuzzo, yeah, they got Scavuzzo. Yeah, too. Scavuzzo looks pretty good, actually. That guy looks like he has a kind of an Abreu chrome. Can you give me some cards when you get time? Yeah. Okay. I forgot about Scooby. I did too. He uh, looks pretty decent. Got a Jimmy Nelson for the Brewers Blue Mini. We got a, a Brandon Compton for the Pirates hometown. Paper Blue, Hutter Renfro. We got a Melvin Mercedes. Oh, that's just a chrome. Sorry. Uh oh, you've been you've been uh, corrected. Margot, there's the Dennis I know and love. I miss those days, Dennis, where you'd be correcting me left and right. I really do. I'm not being. Uh... Bo Jackson, Bowman he, back. He's a numbers guy. I'm glad to hear you got that job uh, taken care of, though. Love to see you around once in a while. We just got a little bit left. Dylan Bundy, Crow Mini, Margo. Uh, I got Castellanos all the way down now, Dennis. I just say that in my sleep randomly. Hometown, Jose Reyes. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. Everything will go out tomorrow. Tanaka Paper. And the last call of the day is for the Oakland A's, Coco Crisp. 
Silver Ice. Not last call of the day. I lost at this break. And that is it. I'll do a quick recap here. Won't take long. And then we'll wrap up this uh, YouTube recording. And we'll we'll go quickly into the division break since it is uh, fairly late. Again, why I'm sorting this, uh, I do appreciate everybody that joined in the break. And um, I will be doing at least one Bowman next week. I'm going to try to get some football mixed in since the draft happened. I'm going to try to do a case of NT. I still have people ask me about that once in a while. It seems like it's a pretty decent product. Okay, let's do some parallels first. I got the Chufo down too. Let's lead off with him. Early in the break, we got a gold mini of Chris Bryant. Number 25 of 25. We'll lead it off with Chris and end with Chris. How about that? Also, some uh, color parallels. We got a, a window Rio for the Red Sox. Thanks, Barry. Appreciate it. Tapia, a black parallel. David's ha Dave's happy about it. He did buy the Cubs all three breaks, so I'm glad he hit it. Even though a lot of people have been in on the Cubs. We got some base uh, on other times. We have some base autos of Molina, uh, Cordero, Mesner. These are all chrome base autos. Uh, Mendez for the Rangers. Betancourt, Javier Betancourt. For the uh, Tigers, Chris Kohler for the A's. We got, let's see, a couple more parallels I will do here real quick. We got a uh, George Springer die cut to 99. We did get a red refractor, it was not an auto. But it was good for the Indians. Joe Wendell, number to five. A nice card there for the Diamondbacks. This guy is really popular. Archie Bradley, number to 50. We got a red ice of uh, Chase Anderson. And then getting to the autographs, we had uh, two refractors. Uh, David Holmberg for the Reds. And Preston Tucker, he's a good-looking prospect for the Astros. That might be a sleeper. I would probably put that one away. A uh, couple of uh, color parallels. We got a green of Mike Mayers for the Cardinals and a blue of Luke Jackson for the Rangers. We got a blue wave auto of Christian Binford. He sells decent too. Royals uh, prospect, number 31 of 50. And two redemptions. Redemption number one early in the case was Billy Hamilton. And then the last redemption in the 11th box, we finally hit ourselves a Chris Bryant base. I think his base might be tougher to get than some of the parallels. But that is a tough card. And congratulations on that. That wraps up the YouTube uh, broadcast. If you're uh, watching later, I do appreciate you uh, joining. And we will move on to the, some division break.